So I'm now going to record something on stressed um, stressed dogs that are peeing. So uh, I'm going to talk about applying the course in miracles to what happens if it seems like one's new pet dog uh, is uh, is getting excited or stressed, and then it seems to be peeing all, all over the. I'm sure this is very uh, this is a nightmare um, uh, all over the place. And I just like to repeat my experience. I think one should do the practical, whatever it is. If there is um, someone with the dog wisdom that you can tune into, they may give you the right answer as to um, a great solution. However, in my experience of applying the course, um, I, I had numerous miracles occur to my health when I applied lesson 14, God did not create kidney failure, so it's not real. God did not create asthma, so it's not real. God did not create uh, gout attacks in my feet, so it's not real. Those are all left with vigorous application of the course. But, um, and also what m one of my favorite Course in Miracles teachers said, you can say, I cancel my belief in asthma. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. I'm the infinite. I'm not the limitation of asthma or of gout or, or, or any limitation that seems to be occurring. So I, I kept applying the lesson 14 and I cancel my belief in asthma and kidney failure. Um, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Uh, and all of these disappeared. And one day, I mean, I was just applying it for all the nightmare things that were showing up in my personal experience. But one day my mother said to me, she came in and she, she, she had diabetes and multiple organ problems, uh, heart failure and uh, go, go, starting towards kidney failure. And she said, oh, I've got oedema, I've got swollen feet. And I went to the GP and he said, there's nothing we can do, you've got heart failure. There, there's absolutely nothing we can do and sent her home. She was really distressed because she wanted a pill to take away. And, and, and it came to me intuitively, oh, God has not created God has not created oedema in my mother, so it's not real. So I, I did it ferociously because I felt so so much empathy for my mother's suffering, you know, with her distressed state. And within a day, the oedema and swelling started to release in her in her feet. And within a few days, it was gone. And she somehow intuitively or psychically knew that I was doing some, probably some stuff. Uh, I don't really talk to her about what I do. And it was a mir mir miraculous experience of love um, <clears throat> that was experienced because it went and she was really distressed. And so I, I then um, really, you know, then in my experience, I, I, can't, I can just, uh, I don't need to just cancel or take out the limiting thoughts that are coming up and affecting my body and my experience of separation. I can do it on behalf of others, like a surrogate, do the Course in Miracles for others. And, and if, because my mother had picked up from the collective that she has organ failure and her feet should swell up. So that's part just a collective thought, a nightmarish thought from the collective. So it was like through grace, it was like the intuition came to do it for her, do the Course in Miracles as if she was applying it. So God has not created the swelling in my mother, so it's not real, and it, and it disappeared. And that was a miraculous um, observation that occurred with that. So stress dogs, let's get back to topic, not waffle. Um, stress dogs, so see what other people say and do anything that's practical. And in the meantime, God did not create stress in my pet dog, so it is not real. God did not create um, uh, a, a peeing dog, and so it is not real. I can't my belief my pet dog is peeing. Um, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. God has not created stress in my pet dog, and so it is not real. You can use all the other Course in Miracles lessons, but um, whatever shows up, whatever is the repeating thought, just uh, let it go. Okay, so I'm going to stop.